welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to do a DIY painting the edges of your book on my own book Vicious Spirits. might be wondering what I mean by that and this is my first book Wicked Fox this is the fairy loot edition and it has these beautiful pink sprayed edges and as you can see vicious spirits does not so I did some research to figure out how to make this match up with this so this is gonna be a DIY craft video <laughs> welcome to a new type of video on this channel so for a project like this, you will need acrylic paint. I got it in blue to match my cover. You're also going to need clamps, at least two. And I'll put links for this all down below. You need a flat brush and a thin brush in order to do the little detail areas. Of course, you also need the book. And I am going to be painting the edges of Vicious Spirit. So first, obviously, I'm going to take off the dust jacket and put it aside because I don't want that to get paint on it. And then I took pieces of paper and I folded them down on either side in order to create kind of a barrier um, so that the paint wouldn't get onto the cover of the book. Kind of making a fake dust jacket of sorts in order to protect the inside edges of the book. The reason that I didn't use tape the way we might do around the edges of a room when we're painting the room is because the tape can kind of peel up the inside uh, pa papers and papers on your book. So here we go. I made these two fake dust jackets and then I'm going to put the clamps on top of the paper of the dust jacket. Now. I don't know if it would ruin the book if I put the clamps directly onto the cover of the hardcover, but I didn't want to risk it, even though these clamps do have rubber stoppers, so I put it on the paper. And I also put it as close to the edge as possible, and that's just so it's holding all of the pages really tightly together. Here I took scrap pieces of paper. I decided that since I had actually four clamps, I wanted to just make sure the book was really clamped shut tight. I didn't want any paint to be able to seep through the pages, so I really didn't want them to be loose. I wanted to make it as hard of an outer surface as possible. So here I'm just using a takeout Tupperware container and when I painted the book, I wanted to make sure that I was spreading the paint out as much as possible. I didn't want any clumping. So what I actually did is I started around the edges because those, I wanted to make sure that I was getting all the edges. And so then after I painted the edges, I just swiped the brush over the paint a few times to make sure it was nice and spread out so there were no thick clumps of paint anywhere on the pages. Now, the hard part here is that because I have this clamp, I need to make sure I can get underneath it, but luckily there is some space, so I just kind of push the brush underneath in order to make sure I could get these edges, and then I just repeated the process of starting in the edges and then going into the middle. Here, uh, you can see that there's no taper or tape at the very, very spine of the book, so I just very carefully took my flat brush and did the details. And now here in the corners, you can see this is where I need the thin brush and I just took a dab of paint and I just carefully, carefully went into each of the corners, making sure that I covered as much surface as possible, but also trying not to touch the hardcover spine. Um, and then after I did that, I just made sure that I smoothed out all of the paint and made sure there weren't any clumps and then repeated the process on the bottom of the book as well until everything was covered in blue. <laughs> and then
then I just let it sit for an hour or two. It really doesn't take that long to dry. Actually, the first time I tried something like this, I let it dry for hours and hours and I realized that I didn't need to do that. You'll see when you first open it that maybe some of the end pages are going to stick. Um, so you have to be really careful just because you don't want to rip any pages and you don't want to mess up the edges. So I just very carefully slid my finger underneath in order to pull it up and then you can see that some of the pages are also sticking together and I just very carefully slid my finger beneath the pages and loosened them from each other. Again, you can see how stiff the pages are here because of the paint. And so now is the fun process of getting all of the pages to unstick. It's actually not that long of a process. You just kind of have to run your finger along the edges a couple of times. And then what I like to do is go and flip through the whole entire book. And if there's any pages sticking together, I very carefully slide my finger beneath them, between them and then run it along all the edges until every single page is loose from each other and it's a readable book. And then you can just take off those fake dust jackets you made and put on the actual dust jacket that belongs onto it to see the beautiful combination of the cover with the edges. And here is the final product. I really love how it turned out. I thought that this blue color was very vibrant and it kind of matched some of the blue tones in the cover itself. So I really loved it. And as you can see, the pages flip really, really well now because I did the process of making sure they were not stuck. I love this blue and I think that it goes really well with the Wicked Fox. Um, the pink and the blue and it just matches up with the cover pretty well. So I'm super duper happy and I've decided that I'm going to paint a couple of more and I'm going to do a giveaway. So if you want to win a signed copy of Vicious Spirits with Painted Blue Edges, then there's more information in the description box down below about how to enter. So yes, that's my DIY video about how to paint the edges of your book. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any comments or questions, then I'd love to see those down below, or you can tweet at me at Cat Show. And if you like this video, then I'd really appreciate a thumbs up or even a subscription to this channel, and I will see everybody next time. Bye! And I found what I needed to do in order to make this match up with this.